what's up guys this is Jonathan with them from the drum lab this is the fourth installment on cajon lessons this one is dealing with foot percussion so we've talked about kick and snare tones we've talked about adding drum fills we've talked about kind of ghost note nuances of finger rolls now we're talking about how to kind of add in that almost hi-hat or kind of effect sounds with our cajon playing so the first thing I wanted to talk about was adding a shaker onto your foot so this right here, this is a foot shake. This is something that I, I developed back in 2012. Um, I got patent pending on it and I've been using it for a while. This is gonna go on your right foot. Now the way I attach it is I slide it over my socks. Again, making sure we're wearing socks like I discussed in a previous lesson so that you don't get any weird sounds on the front plate of the cone if you're sliding down. So what I do is I take these laces, I pull them around underneath and I just get the bunny ears and tie knot. And it's ready to go. So now that we have the shaker on our foot, there are kind of three main ways that I like to use it. The first one is very straightforward and it's moving our foot up and down. This gives us a, a sharp percussive sound but also has a little bit of slosh to it. The second one, we keep our the ball of our foot and the front of our foot on the ground and we just lift the heel up and down. This produces a very even sloshy shaker tone. The third one is very similar to kind of what you can get from a maraca. We keep our heel down, we point our toes, and we step with our toes up pretty quickly. So in the first lesson we discussed how to get eighth note grooves. It was slightly boring because you're just going one and two and three and four and but now with the foot shaker on our foot we can actually make that the eighth notes of the hi-hat and that sounds like this with that groove what I was doing was the first shaker model I gave of just moving that foot straight up and down very easy to stay relaxed very easy to keep your balance on the cajon and you're just going straight up and down it's pretty mindless but again if you're gonna be doing that try it nice and slow the first time now the next item I wanted to show this is a minor cajon foot tambourine it velcros onto your foot and I'm gonna be putting this one on my left foot today slides on, we pull the velcro underneath and tighten it down. And with the tambourine now on our left foot, it's fun because as you kind of do some accents on the corner kind of emulating that snare sound, we can kind of add a tambourine to it to give a, a deeper kind of two and four tone as we're playing our grooves. Um, and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to be playing the shaker with my right foot on the eighth notes and I'm going to be adding in this foot tambourine on two and four on the snare and before I play I wanted to share that the technique I'm using for this foot tambourine is I'm keeping my heel on the ground lifting up my foot and stepping so with that tambourine you can do quarter notes, you can do snare on two and four, you can do eighth notes, off eighth notes, whatever's comfy for you as you continue to get better and better with it. The last item I wanted to show, this is a, uh, a foot rattle by Meinl. What I do with this is I wrap it around just below uh, my knee and above my calf, and that Velcro's on as well. And the cool thing about this one is by putting it here, if I do a foot gliss, I'm not in the way with those rattles. And as I do my tambourine, if I lift my full leg, I get a percussive sound with that. And in a full groove context, it sounds like this.
So that's just a few ideas for you guys. Go ahead, experiment, have fun, try different combinations, different rhythms, just remembering to go slow. This is Jonathan Witham with The Drum Lab. Uh, feel free to leave comments below or you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.